Alléluia. Voilà ce fioué. Amen. 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 We're glad to be with you this morning. Amen. 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 First of all, eh, kwanza, on behalf of my wife and myself, kwa niaba ya mke wangu na mimi mwenyewe, we want to say that we love you. Tunataka kukuambia kwamba tunakupenda. We love you. 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 Tunakupenda. Haleluya. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I want to talk to you this morning. I want to continue to talk to you about the gospel. When I was here a couple days ago, my good friend Pastor Zephania, he quoted the words of Jesus Christ. When the Lord said, Not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, is going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. But those that do the will of God. You see, I'm here today. God has sent me here. Because God wants you to do the will of God. Amen. Amen. Now. Sasa. Doing the word of doing the will of God. It's not just uh, singing in the church. But the greatest thing that we can do in the will of God. The number one thing. We must preach the gospel. I'm talking to you today. God wants you to preach the gospel. Mungu anakuitaji wewe upate kuhubiri injili. Some of you are not ready yet. Bado watu wengine naona hamjawa tayari kwa njili ya kuhubiri. Some of you are not preaching the gospel. Wengine bado hamuhubiri injili. Some of you sing. Baadhi ya watu wanaimba. Some of you dance. Wengine baadhi yao wanaimba. Wanacheza. Some of you pray. Wengine baadhi yao wanaomba. But you're not preaching the gospel. Lakini bado hivyo vitu vyote sio kuhubiri injili. But the gospel injili is the greatest thing that we all must do. Ni kitu cha pekee na kikubwa ambacho kila mmoja wetu lazima afanye. Amen. 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 Now I want you to turn to the one beside you. Sasa nataka umgeukie jirani yako. I want you to take your finger. Na uonyeshe kidole. Like this. Na hebu chukua kidole chako namna hii. And I want you to say to your neighbor. Halafu mwambie jirani yako huyo wewe. God wants you to preach the gospel. Mwambie kwamba wewe Mungu anataka uhubiri injili. Mwambie jirani yako na kidole hivi. Mungu anataka wewe uhubiri injili. When the church of Jesus Christ wakati kanisa la Yesu Kristo together likiwa pamoja together pamoja begins to preach the gospel likianza kuhubiri injili something wonderful is going to happen kwamba lazima kitu cha ajabu kimoja wapo kitatokea see it's not enough to have a crusade si haitoshi tu kuwa na mkutano wa nje kama huu it's not enough for the evangelist to preach the gospel si haitoshi yule mwinjilisti akahubiri it's not enough for the pastor to preach the gospel. Haitoshi kama mchungaji atainuka na kuhubiri ndani ya kanisa. The Holy Spirit, Roho Mtakatifu, wants everyone. Anataka everyone. Kila mmoja, everyone. Kila mmoja, every kila mmoja. I'm talking about you. Nasema kwa na wewe. Ladies, I'm talking about you. Hata nasema na nini akina dada? Older people I'm talking about. Watu wote hapa nazungumza nao. Young people I'm talking about. Hata vijana kabisa wadogo nazungumza nao. The youth I'm talking about. Vijana you don't wait till you get older. You don't wait till you get mature. Today is the day of salvation. Today, if we can hear His voice, the Holy Spirit has not changed. 
Jesus is the same today and forevermore. Yesu Christo ni yeye yule jana leo na hata milele. And Jesus. Na Yesu. Watch you. Anataka wewe. To preach the gospel. Kuhubiri injiri. Hallelujah. 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 I know that's hard. Sasa ninachua hilo ni jambo gumu. Maybe you've been in the church for 10 years. Ina uwezekana umekuwa mwanachama wa kanisa miaka 10. And you've never preached the gospel. Na wala hujawahi kuhubiri injiri. Maybe you've been in the church longer. Ina uwezekana umekuwa ndani ya kanisa muda mrefu zaidi hapo. Never preached the gospel. Zaidi ya miaka 10 bado hujawahi kuhubiri injiri. I got some pastors here. Na uwezekana tunao hata wachungaji. Pastors here. Hata wachungaji. Your number one job. Hata umefanya kazi yako ya kwanza. Is to teach your people. Ni kufundisha